In this new video, you will now discover multiple operators in Python, and how to use them. Please, do not forget to smash that like button, for the YouTube algorithm, since it does really help supporting us, and providing new free content, once a week. Are you interested to be part of this community? All the links are in the description below. Now, let's play this video. Types of operators. Depending upon the type of operations you want to perform, there are seven types of operators in Python. Arithmetic operators. Assignment operators. Comparison operators. Logical operators. Bitwise operators. Identity operators. Membership operators. Bitwise operators. Let's move forward and look at bitwise operators, which are similar to logical operators but they treat operands as sequences of binary digits, and operate on them bit by bit. For example, 5 is 101 in binary form, and 7 is 111. When you perform a OR operation on these operands, it will give you the output 7, 111, in binary form, since you performed a logical operation on each bit of the numbers, one at a time. This is exactly the same, when you perform the AND operation, but using the appropriate logical operation, bit by bit. Finally but no least, there is another bitwise operator in Python, called XOR. It performs the exclusive OR operation on each bit of the numbers, and will return true only if one bit is true, not the both of them. Apart from these three operators, you have two more bitwise operators, which are right shift, and left shift operators. What basically happens, when this type of operand is used? First, the value is converted into its binary representation. Then, you will have to specify which type of shift you want to perform, using two greater than signs, or two lesser than signs. Finally, once you have done that, you will have to specify the number of bits you want to shift. Then, the binary output will shift towards the direction you chose, left or right, for the number of bits you specified. In this tutorial, you discovered, multiple operators that Python supports, so you can combine objects into expressions. You should now have quite a good understanding of the assignment, logical and comparison operators. If you liked this video, please, do not forget to give a thumb up, and subscribe our channel. Digital Academy, learn free. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like. Comment. And share.